Today marks two years since Malaysia Airlines flight MH370 disappeared with 239 people on board. Chinese relatives of the passengers marked the anniversary at a Buddhist temple in Beijing. They came together for an emotional support and to pray for their missing loved ones. The prayer session also served as a protest. Investigators believe the Boeing 777 crashed in a remote stretch of the southern Indian Ocean, killing everyone on board after flying far off course and running out of fuel. Iran television is reporting that country's Revolutionary Guard has launched several ballistic missiles during a military exercise. The report did not elaborate, but said the missiles were launched from silos in several locations across the country. In October, Iran successfully test fired a new guided long range ballistic surface to surface missile. It was the first such test since Iran and world powers reached a landmark nuclear deal last summer. Five people are dead after a five story building collapsed. In Lagos, Nigeria this morning. More than a half a dozen were rescued. The building was under construction, but some workers were living in it with their families. Recovery operations are still ongoing. And two people, including a young child, were killed and another two people were wounded in southern Turkey today after repeated rocket fire from across the Syrian border. Officials report at least eight rockets hit a populated neighborhood, causing casualties and widespread panic, as you can see. It was believed to be a deliberate attack from an area of Syria controlled by ISIS militants. And a young girl is dead and six others injured after a fire broke out at an apartment complex overnight in northeast Ohio. The child who died was a four-year-old girl. The family lived in a basement unit of the apartments. The other six hurt in the incident were taken to the hospital. Approximately 24 apartments were damaged. And nine passengers were injured last night after a commuter train in Northern California derailed. Officials say the train may have collided with a downed tree on the tracks before tumbling into a river. Mark Berger has more from Niles Can Canyon, California. It's being called an absolute miracle. No one was killed. It just shifted the gravity all of a sudden and, you know, we were all just panicking. A four-car commuter train derailed Monday night with 214 people on board. The lead car slid down a steep embankment and into a rain-swollen creek. Passengers describe a harrowing, chaotic scene. It slid for quite a while. I wasn't sure if we were going to turn over or not. Um, as soon as I knew we were stable, I started listening for the screams. People were crying for help. Authorities say the Altamont Corridor Express train was traveling from San Jose to Stockton when it struck a tree lying on the tracks, sending the lead car into the water. Rescuers battled the fast-moving current to pull victims to safety. In front of it was submerged. There was definitely water coming in at that farthest part that was down in the, uh, in the water itself. One woman had to be rescued from the mud. She was trapped beneath a second derailed car on the edge of the tracks. It's just under the mudslide, so we were trying to dig her out while the train was hanging. Authorities believe that mudslide pushed the tree onto the tracks, causing the incident. Passengers say rain was coming down hard just moments beforehand, part of a series of thunderstorms that has inundated the San Francisco Bay Area in recent days. Mark Barker, NBC News. When we come back, it looks like a big night ahead on WTVA. That and more as WTVA News at 5 continues.